Well, I'm actually uh, cutting up this 14 gauge steel. It's just pretty thick stuff. It's actually about um, as thick as, I guess, a cheaper gun safe. What I'm going to do with it, it's going to go on the front door, um, below the window and above the window, and on the sills. It's going to get riveted to it and glued on there with liquid nails. And we're going to have some big deadbolts on it, three of them. Two on the bottom, one on the top. And... Um, I guess you could say that's for partly for breaking in, but really it's more for um, hurricanes. One of your biggest problems is with hurricanes, a lot of people don't realize this, um, if your door blows in or if you got you know hurricane shutters, I got hurricane shutters, but if your door blows in, uh, once the envelope of the house is open to the wind, it pushes on the opposite side of the wall and it pushes up on the opposite side, on the, it pushes out on the opposite wall and it pushes up on the opposite side of the roof so it makes the whole thing go like that <laughs> it just pulls it over man so you want to make sure your doors can't blow in and it, it could be for security purposes but really um, I want to button this down for hurricane hopefully <laughs> see what happens just in case you know one an ounce of prevention could be worth a ton of cure so that's what we're doing And, and a jigsaw does a pretty good job. Actually, freaking screwed up over here. I gotta trim this down with the grinder, but um, does a pretty damn good job with um, cutting it. As long as you keep the blade from vibrating. So I got the, I got everything braced up with. Um, so I hold that down. It's on there solid. This is on there solid. And you know now it's cut. It doesn't look like it's solid. Um, use these blades, and. Just use plenty of lubricant on it, on a blade, and also on the metal. And when you press down, you press down on the front of this. You use good. You don't push down on the back. Push down on the front. You keep it flat, but more pressure on the front. As long as this body of this jigsaw isn't vibrating and the metal's not vibrating, it cuts. Let it do its job. Keep the blade cool. I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit and uh, do the second cut then we'll have to grind it down a little bit trim it up uh, drill some holes uh, I'm gonna prime it with um, some primer and then um, I'll drill the holes for the rivets and uh, clean up the door construction glue <laughs> should be pretty solid probably take me a few days to do this puppy all right Putin pay attention <laughs> okay so after this thing was cut um, I'm just gonna rough it up I'm just gonna rough it up with the grinder but I'm probably just gonna rough it up with the DA it just really got to be I don't know if it's got a coating on here or something but I'll just go over with uh, the DA and uh, wipe it down with some starting fluid and the DA is direction dual action sander you can see how it goes okay. Just so the uh, liquid nail sticks a lot better and it's chemically clean. But before um, I install it, I'm going to pre drill it for the um, pop rivets because it's going to have a bunch of pop rivets and liquid nails. And I'm also going to um, um, paint it, paint it, you know, and be chemically clean. So it should be pretty good. And then we can put the deadbolts into it and there'll be one more deadbolt on the top of the door so this stuff is it's pretty thick stuff 14 gauge it's a lot thicker than you find on a car maybe you'd find that on a model t i don't know <laughs> or a 1940 willys 1941 willys flat fender jeep or something maybe maybe the fender might be something like that but i'm not sure pretty thick stuff a lot thicker than car stuff so uh, that's bolted on there to the steel door. And if there's a lot of wind from a hurricane, it could possibly work for attempted break-ins too. I'm not sure about that, but I think it would stop the, the door from blowing in on a hurricane or even a mild tornado. And that's one thing you gotta worry about, man. Once it hits, you're screwed. 
Well, I test fitted the metal. It actually fits in there nice. It actually fits behind the lip on a door and actually you can put some metal on the sides and really screw that right into the um, frame. Now, I mean, nothing's fucking going to be super duper, but um, this would keep it from one of the biggest problems you have with a hurricane and God forbid a tornado is once the envelope of the structure is broken um, the wind comes inside blows up on the inside of the wall and blows up on the inside of the roof now this could also be for help for break-ins but I don't know if I'll have a problem with that kind of crap but uh, it still wouldn't be bad I'm more worried about hurricanes and stuff man but uh, this door should be stronger than any and I'll get one on the top to um, up there up there in a the corner a six inch piece going across the, the top and uh, two deadbolts on the bottom and um, one on the uh, uh, one on the top so next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes uh, but I gotta get some construction glue uh, liquid nails and um, once I drill these holes in there put the liquid nails it's it's gonna be pretty solid because you're not going to be able to press in the door like the edge of the lip ain't going to break. And if I have another lip across here and another lip across there, eh, I don't see how that's, well, nothing's impossible to break. You know, if you get 150 mile an hour wind, you can be screwed anyway, but we'll see. I got to get, I got to get some liquid nails because I'm not just going to pop rivet on there. It's going to be liquid nails, probably two bottles of the shit and a bunch of pop rivets and then we'll put the big dead bolts on it okay so I roughed up the door with some sandpaper then I took I just had some of this 60 grit here and I already you know roughed up the other surface of the steel then I took some starting fluid which is this chemically cleaned it you know wiped it down um, got the door in there nice and straight. You can see it's nice and even along here. It's, along, it's even along the bottom of the glass. Then I took, uh, this is liquid nails. Liquid nails, if you can see that. Liquid nails, um, the regular construction crap, not the general purpose stuff. Um, put it all over the place in the back there. Now I got one pop rivet here and one pop rivet here. I'll show you how to put those pop rivets in. I'm just using the eighth inch ones, but it's got liquid liquid nails. It's a steel on a steel door. Um, the edge of this steel goes beyond that plate on the, the door here and also on the bottom. So it can't bend the door in itself. It'd have to bend this plate in too. So it's, it's fairly strong. This part doesn't have it where it's hooked on underneath this, but then it's going to have the deadbolt latches. One here and one here, and I'll do one on the top. Um, then I'll paint it with, um, um, well, rust. I'm going to use the uh, rusty metal primer, the um, black stuff. That's, uh, what do you call that stuff? Uh, the stuff that kills rust, if, even if you had any surface rust on it. Then I'm going to go over it with, um, um, it's a... Uh, it's like a semi-flat white paint that is, um, uh, I'm not, probably not going to video it out, I'm just going to show you how to do it. It, it. That's like a very, it has a lot of uh, color in it, so it covers, it's like a uh, double hide, you know, it's like from Rust-Oleum, it's a little more expensive, but it it goes over the primer really fast and should stick on there good. So, let me get uh, uh, to drill out right here, and we'll go ahead and uh, put a pop ribbon in the bottom I'll show you what it is okay so this is a steel door it's got wood on the inside of it so I'm gonna do a pop ribbon right about there that'll be about the middle That's hitting the door steel. Been hit. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
The door steel is fairly thick too, but it's got uh, wood in it too. So the way you do this is uh, just pulls that nail through the rivet. And that's that. Those little rivets are strong too. Now I decided to paint after I put the rivets in. This way it'll be all primed around here and I'll sand the rivets heads and so the paint sticks to it. Otherwise I'd have to repaint it anyway. Uh, but the rivets that are going to be for the dead bolts are going to be much heavier. Okay, so these are the little tiny dead bolts we're going to be using. <laughs> And uh, I traced out where I'm going to cut. Now, actually, what I'm going to do after this gets cut into the wood, I'm going to make steel that will be screwed into the wood and it'll go all the way down to the bottom. And it'll be stronger than, you know, even just the wood. But it's going in there with uh, structural rivets, quarter inch, going into this 14 gauge plus, I think it's 14 gauge underneath it with the door itself. So, first, we're going to drill this out and uh, get it so that slides in and out of there and then we'll drill the holes for the, uh, the rivets okay it's the same thing as the little pop rivet gun except this is the big structural rivets I put a quarter inch hole in there and what's going in there is these bad boys they're real long too it'll make a big mushroom head you gotta squeeze these handles together like a bolt cutters and um, it'll snap off the top and you got a rivet in there and I use some Gorilla Tape to hold this in place hopefully it's lined up pretty good should be and you see there's that big rivet so it's in there this thing should be pretty solid <laughs> well there'll be more work done on it but uh, with this and this being braced up around here and down here on the bottom I don't think this door is going to blow in too easy the glass could break but uh, that's another story okay so that's a solid bolt locks in there tight do that do that it's actually kind of tight on the bottom a little bit so that latch is tight so I'll do the other one but you get the idea and we'll get one on the top and paint it so we're cool <laughs> 